Hi guys, I'm Carlo from Carlo's Ceramics and some people have been asking me to make a studio tour. So here we are, here's my studio and I'm going to show you my workplace where I make all of my ceramics. So without any further ado, come on in. <laughs> So the first thing that you see when you walk inside on your left hand is here my shelves with finished pieces. I like to have all of my finished pieces in one place so that I know what I have and it's easy for people to see what I have when they're visiting the studio. So here I have some pieces that are available on my Etsy shop and I also have some pieces that I still need to add to my Etsy shop. And I also have quite some pieces at the moment that are from videos. So sometimes I sell things from videos, sometimes I like them too much and I like to keep them for myself. So here, for example, you can see that I still have my coffee drip, my painting palette, which I'm probably going to use for underglazes. And then I have one of my most favorite pieces at the moment, my berry bowl. <laughs> and my knitting bowl from last video. And then here I also have the little jars that I made in the video. So here's just where I showcase all of my pieces. And here in the middle of my studio I have this rocking chair, it's also second hand and I got it from my dad, I think for Christmas or my birthday, I think for Christmas. And I always sit here to think about what I'm going to make next. Sometimes I have a minor little breakdown <laughs> if I don't know what to glaze. I always struggle with glazing and then I sit here and be like, well, what glaze am I going to use? And here next to me I have this wood stove that is very nice to heat my studio because it can be quite cold, especially in the winter. So in the winter I just put it on fire, <laughs> turn it on, <laughs> I put wood in it and make a fire so that the studio becomes warm, which is quite nice and it works quite fast. It has a window which I really like so that you can see the fire when it's on and it's just, it gives a cozy vibe to the whole studio. And yes, I'm very happy with that. The next part that I'm going to show you is my throwing station. It is here in the back of my studio in the corner. I used to actually have my wheel over there in front of the wall so that I wouldn't be distracted and could focus on my pottery. But now I can actually concentrate better and I got better at pottery. So I didn't really have to sit against the wall anymore and I just thought it would be a bit nicer to just look into the room. So now I have it pointing towards the room which is also nice for me so that I can always put lights and a camera in front of it because right now I almost record everything that I make on the wheel. My wheel is an old Shimpo. It is, this is the first wheel that I got myself. I started off with a table size Shimpo. I've talked about that before but that was actually one of my parents and my mom and I both used it. My mom also makes pottery. If you didn't know she has her studio next to mine here in the same building which is very nice. Follow her on Instagram at Trisco Pottery. But the wheel is orange. I actually hate the color orange, but this orange is a nice color of orange, so I love it. And it works great, I can show you. The only thing that I don't like about it, because I have been looking for a new wheel, but I don't think I'm going to get it because I love this one so much and it just looks so nice. But the only problem, or like it's not even a problem, but the only downside of this wheel is that it makes quite a lot of noise. So, the wheel here is... Um, quite old and because of that like the inside is also old and makes quite a lot of noise I don't know if that's because it's old or it has always been making this noise, but I will show it Well, I'll show it. I will let you hear it um, This is also the reason that I don't make ASMR videos. You see a lot of others make ASMR videos The sound of my wheel is not very satisfying, but I'm, I'm okay with that. But that's also why you never hear me talk while I'm throwing Because I actually don't hear me <laughs> Okay, so it's not, it's not that bad, but well here. It's it's okay, but also the the this thing I don't call like when you give gas or something where you let it spin and you just press the thing with your foot, it makes also a peeping sound sometimes. I might be able to fix that by just putting some oil on it or something. I don't know. But the wheel works great and I'm just going to keep it. I'll not turn it off. It will make a weird ticking sound when the when the thing turns off. Some people are like What's happening? It, it's supposed to happen, okay? That. <laughs> and here I have just all of my tools. So here I have sponges that I use. I have a bed lifter that I always use to lift my beds. I throw on plaster beds. Someone asked me that. Um, I throw on plaster beds because they um, don't warp. 
like if you throw on wood today the wood might warp a little bit so plaster beds for me work the best i got this wheel from a man that wasn't able to throw anymore and it was a very nice man and uh, he wanted the wheel to find a good place a good home so i think i gave it a great home here and i also have here my water bucket um, I have it on my left. People sometimes ask, are you left-handed because it's on your left? No, I'm right-handed, but my camera is always on the right, and otherwise if I place it on the right, then it is in front of the camera. So, that's why my water bottle is always on the left. And then, what else do we got? I got a lot of plants. I got them recently. They still have plastic pots. I know it's a shame in a pottery world, but I, um, I'm planning on making new planters. I might do that in a video even. Because that's just needed, but I love the plants. It gives um, just a nice vibe to the whole studio, I think. And I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to um, live here or grow here because they because it's quite dark in this corner. Like I do have a lot of windows, but the sun always comes up on that side and then it goes like whoop, <laughs> to that side. So like in the afternoon and at night, I do get like a golden hour in here, which is really nice. But the plants don't get that much light. Um, but these plants are. For now they're doing quite well. I do have them for three weeks now I think. And they've been they've been growing actually. This one got this new leaf and I love how they like fold open these leaves. Very satisfying. Okay, next up are my shelves here in the back. I got a lot of shelves and let me just show you. There we go, okay. So I got all of my glazes, all of my books, and I have pieces drying or pieces that have been basically fired and are ready to be glazed. And down there I also have all of my plaster beds that are like in reaching distance from the wheel, which is nice. Up here I have a little gallery, which I think is quite nice. These are the pieces that I will never get rid of because they have like a story behind it for myself. So I'll go over them real quick. Um, first bowl that I have here, I will show you closer. Oh, it's a bit dusty. <laughs> I have this big bowl which I splashed on with a balloon. So I put the thunder glaze in the balloon and then I let it like explode and then the glaze was like... <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's how I made it. But I made this on national television. So I actually like exploded the balloon while I was filmed for national television. It was not live but it got on the Dutch television. So that was pretty cool. Um, I did. Oh, I don't know if I should tell you that, it's quite bad, but I, when I exploded it, the glaze just flew everywhere, so it was like on, on my windows. It, normally it just falls down and goes into the pool quite a lot, and I actually always also do it outside just to be sure, but I did it inside because, I don't know, we were, I don't know, I don't know why I did that. But it turned out nice, but the cameraman got some glaze on his shirt as well, but it, it was other glaze and it just washed out, so that was not too bad, but it was... Yeah, we're not talking about that, okay? <laughs> then here next to it, I have this shell. Um, this shell I made inspired by an artwork by the artist Rembrandt van Rijn. Right, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly in English, but he has this artwork. I will just put it in the screen. Then I made the shell in 3D, um, inspired by it, and I decorated it with the black bubbles because that um, matches the drawing. And I actually. Um, send it in for a contest from the Rijksmuseum. So the Rijksmuseum is like the biggest museum of the Netherlands based in the middle of Amsterdam. And I actually won, like a lot of people won, but when you win, the, your piece would be exhibited. exhibited. There was an exhibition of the pieces that, won, that made the cuts that won, and I did. So this piece has actually been in the Rijksmuseum for two or three months, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm not getting rid of that, I'm just keeping that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, and next here I have my um, Northern Light Glaze Combinations. So there are three different combinations within the Northern Light Glaze Combinations that I use quite often. But these are the ones that I made in the video about it. The video is still up so you can watch it. Uh, but that was actually the first video that I spoke English and that I showed my face in. And I was very scared of that because I was very insecure about my English and everything, um, but I just want to keep that as a memory because because I made a video, I'm now making videos like this, 
and it's going quite well, I think. My English has improved quite a lot over the years, but still working on it, okay? Um, here, I, next up, I have this bubble ball, and I built this in a TikTok. It was the second TikTok that I posted, yeah, on TikTok, and it went viral. Um, it got the video of me bubbling this ball got 5.5 or 5.6 million views. So that was pretty intense and I thought, well, I'm going to keep it as a memory because that doesn't happen every day. <laughs> and then next up I have here, I have this cup of the tie-dye technique. The tie-dye technique is the technique that I completely developed myself with a little bit of help of my parents and my sister that came up with the idea. And it's with Underglaze. I also made a video about it and this was just the first cup. And this is the cup from the, from the video. So I just want to keep that as a memory as well. And that is everything for these shelves. That was quite a lot, holy moly. Then here, next to the shelves, I have this secret room. Uh, no, it's not secret. It's just my storage room where I store all of my clay and all of my shipping materials and boxes to sell and ship my pottery because I sell worldwide. And uh, it's quite small, but it's nice to just be able to put everything away. It's a mess. I will show you shortly, briefly. There's just a lot of stuff in there that I don't use that often and that I don't really need in my studio. So then I just put it away here and act as, of, as if my studio is all clean and tidy. But in here it's a mess. <laughs> Lots of things I'm proud of. Stuff. And then the next thing I have here is this chest. It's called a chest? I'm not sure. Um, in here I have a lot of a lot of pots <laughs> that um, they just didn't turn out great so I'm not going to use them myself and I'm not going to sell them but I'm also I also don't want to throw them away like sometimes something goes completely wrong and I throw it away for example here I have um, a test of the tie-dye technique it's not even that bad but I'm just not going to do anything with them for the time being they're just in here which is quite interesting, some glaze tests that I've never seen a day of light. And yeah, I also do have like some plates that I for example sometimes use to just put on some inner glazes or something. But now I'm probably going to use my palette. <laughs> and yes, there's more. This is also tie-dye technique test. And also just some older things I'm just not that happy with anymore. Here I did a graf scraffito, scraffito, graffito, scraffito. Um, I made some birds. They are quite nice, but like they're just like so old, so they're a bit heavy and thick on the bottom. Yeah, and I'm just not going to use them. It's filled, um, but I also don't want to throw them away. So for now, they're just here. <laughs> this chest was actually first in my bedroom as a kid i always had this in my room and i put all of my toys in here um, then i grew up and they didn't play with my toys anymore so it was emptied out so it didn't have a purpose and then i got this studio and i thought well maybe this can just stand here and i can put all of my uh, pottery in here so that's that <laughs> then what else do we have okay let me see here i'm going to hold i've never held a camera like this at the angles okay <laughs> here next to well here you know where we are i hope here i have an extra door which is quite nice because i can open it for you it's not like leading to anything oh. but it's just look it, it, well it's leading outside it's a bit messy here but it is quite nice like there are the neighbors but it's nice to have a lot of plants here because then i'm like a little bit hidden like People are not looking at me. Okay, I, I'm not capable of holding a camera like this. But it's nice to have an extra door here so that I can in the summer open it up. And then I also have, of course, my just my normal... Oh, there's my, my ring light that I just used. Then I just can put open both the doors. That's what I'm trying to say. And then just the air has like a nice airflow and then it is nice. Okay, next up is my table here. Um, Works. Here is where I just sit and do all of my glazing and hand building and it's nice to just have a big big table to have all of the space that needs to work. Um, yes, there's a table. I don't know what else to tell about a table. It's not that interesting. <laughs> when you come in, the door's there. You have it immediately. On your right hand, this big counter. 
and I love it. It is all upcycled, recycled, whatever you like to call it. And my dad actually made this, my dad's very handy, so <laughs> that's, that's great. It is quite high because I'm quite tall, so it's really nice when I'm working here and standing here to have it at uh, a nice high because normal cabinets are like lower and then I have to like bend my back and then my back starts hurting we don't want that. So it's really nice to have this higher like custom made <laughs> counter. And what I do here, sometimes I work here, um, I've had a time that I attached all of my handles here because it's great with the lights, but now I do it on the table. But I also wedge all of my clay here, so often I have a plaster bed on top of here and then I can just wedge my clay on top of it. The tiles are old and my parents already had them and they were just laying around in the garden and we didn't really have use for them and then we had to make a counter, is that called a counter top? I have this big sink which is great, this big sink was also just laying around here, I don't know, it was like in the in the ditch or something, I don't know, is the ditch slow? I don't know, it was just laying around in the garden and we didn't use it and it was just there, I think from the previous owners of the house even. And it's great because it's so big that I can put a bucket of water into it. So for example when I'm pulling handles you always need a lot of water for that. So then I can easily put a bucket of water into the sink and then just do my work. Then I also have a tap. That's like almost one of the only things that we got new actually. Um, and it's just a great tap. It has warm water and cold water. So when it's cold in the winter I can throw the warm water if my hands are cold. And that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you maybe learned something new from me, got inspired by something. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you want to. And if you haven't already, subscribe and also give this video a like. By the way, I hit 10k subscribers last week, so thank you very much for that. Um, I really appreciate it. It's just, it's great. It's been great. It's going to be greater. I think we're going to have a lot of fun here. So, thank you for that. And I hope to see you in the next video, which will be next Friday, as always. So, bye, and uh, enjoy your week. <laughs>